Welcome to this Getting Started video for Diverse Science. I'd like to take the next several minutes to just help you get used to using Diverse Science and how to do a lesson, some of the other important components of the course as well. Once you get started, things are very consistent and the format is very repeatable from week to week. Watching this Getting Started, it'll really help you get up to speed faster and answer a lot of questions for you. Before we talk about doing a lesson, I want to talk about the assignment chart and it has some helpful information on it and you find that on our website at DiveIntoMath.com and you can add that to your bookmarks bar on your browser. So on our website up here at the top you just go to support, click on syllabi and teacher's guides and go to Dive Science and you're doing a CD-ROM or download version so I'll just click on the CD-ROM here select Earth Science and there's the teacher's guide and you can just scroll through and you see number two there after watching this getting started video is bookmarking that Earth Science assignment chart and so you just open that chart up and it has day by day instructions to complete a week worth of Earth Science in four days but we also have a time method we'll be talking about that later and here is the assignment chart week by week and there's some definitions flashcards facts flashcards that are optional website links that you can go to and everything is standalone so those are optional things you don't have to do it that way using those website links there the, we just did that because it's a, a very efficient way to do those two activities so you can see everything for a week all laid out there and the 32 week schedule that we have with quarterly reviews at the end of each let me just move this window down a little bit here and depending on your browser this is Google Chrome here but depending on your browser there's different methods of bookmarking something so I can hit this star here and it says the folder option I have different options for folders it's in the bookmarks bar so I'll just hit done and you see that link appear in my bookmarks bar where it's now available for handy reference well now let's go through the four day schedule that's in your assignment chart on completing a week of diverse science and first up on day one are definitions and facts and so first we'll talk about your definitions for the week and there are digital flashcards on your assignment chart and that's what we recommend using that's an online activity but it is optional you don't have to use that you can use the PDF glossary provided with your course instead the purpose of the definitions and doing those first it's to get you familiar with new words and their meanings before you watch a lecture when you're learning something new it helps to start simple and so we start with definitions let's take a look at how to access those from the assignment chart access those flashcards and so let's just start with week one here and your flashcards there and you can see how things are described to the the course is broken into quarters so we have quarter one and so week one you have everything's like 1.1 1 .1, 1 1.1 definitions then week two is 1.2 and scroll down for the second quarter things begin with a two the third quarter they begin with a three and bet you got it figured out now and that's part of it we're trying to make this a simple easy to learn format so you don't have a brand new different format every week and every quarter now let me just minimize this a little bit and when you start you can go to options here and answer with both and so X out of that and your first time through you can see the definition or rule or scripture typically every week there's a scripture that I'd love for you to memorize too and so you can see that verse itself and the scripture and their applied science the term and the definition beneath it there and so you can see both things together as you go through so you go through one time see the term and the definition or the rule there might be like a math formula sometimes too I want you to get familiar with as well it's not just vocabulary is all that's in this and then once you've gone through it once you can go to options there and answer with the term or the definition you know, whichever one you want to do and 
now it's in real flashcard mode where you click on that card to flip it and see that definition come up. And then for the next one, you just click the arrow there, go to that, click it to flip it. So, and if you want to do it by term that way, then you can do that as well. And you just go through them, solid mass of the earth, click to flip what that is. Now, you also have some weekly facts. Most weeks have a set of facts I want you to memorize. And this is like rock and mineral identification, things like that, related to the Earth. And it's important that you understand, too, that no prior knowledge is required on these. You're going to be doing flashcards, just like I don't expect you to know all your definitions to start with. I, I wouldn't expect you to know all these facts either. You're going to learn these by doing the digital flashcards. That's what we recommend using. Or you can use the CD download quiz that was provided in your course. So back over here to the assignment chart, you just click on your facts flashcards for whatever week you're on. And click on that. It'll open up. And so again, you can go to options, go to both. And so you can see the name and whatever that material is there. So this is mineral here, the state mineral of California, gold. And you can just flip through those. And so you're just putting a name with that mineral. And so these are all minerals here. Some of these are state minerals. And just depends on, on what the fact is. So you can just go through those. And then you go back however you want to do that term or by definition and I'd recommend doing that by term and so you see that picture and identify what it is click to flip that's biotite and go on we'll talk about the quiz method that's in your course in a few minutes and just again emphasizing that the digital flashcards online that's optional you don't have to do it that way you do have a quiz format and you'll see that in a minute it's the same thing just not necessarily as efficient to use as the flashcards on day two the focus is to watch a lecture take notes on that and complete the related review questions completing a lesson in dive earth science means that you've done your definitions you've watched the lecture and that includes some of those definitions and then you've completed the review. First up though you can review your definitions, rules, and facts. About 10 minutes is what you want to take on that. So you can use your flashcards, online flashcards, or your methods provided in the course and just flip through each review them one time. You're not needing to memorize them right now but obviously as you go over these you will start to memorize them and you don't have to just do flashcards like you can click this back button here on the daily facts and you can see there's different options there for study methods or games that you can play like match you can go up here and match and just make everything disappear and so like you slide gold over on top of the right image there and it disappears and notice you have a time over there too so different methods that you can use so about 10 minutes on that and then you want to go ahead and watch your first lecture lecture a and take notes and this is optional but you can use the printable notes this is especially recommended for young students who have never taken notes on a lecture before and if you go back to the teacher's guide, you can find those printable fill-in-the-blank lecture notes and a link to go to those and download them. Let's just go ahead and take a look at a lecture. And here's lecture 1.1a on science. And you can see, depending on your computer, you'll have different methods to play and pause. And you can scroll through and move through that lecture. And anytime you want to, you can pause it and rewind it but you can see the rules and definitions they appear up front a, a list of definitions anyways and if you aren't using notes you know you don't need to feel like you have to write down everything that you see on the screen and maybe you have a 
another student who's doing another dive science course like biology or chemistry, those have a reading component with them. Earth science does not, and sometimes there is a little more text on the screen than, than those courses, but that's also one reason it's helpful to have those printable notes so new students there are not feeling like they have to write down everything they see, but just those most important things that are going to show up on the review questions. So it's important to write down titles and subtitles like those that you see to the left there, what is science, what is earth science. If at any time there's a math related problem that comes up, those are the kinds of things that you'll want to watch how to solve, pause, try to solve them on your own, on your paper. And problems like that, that's where it really comes in handy to pause and rewind as needed anytime you don't understand something or it's going too fast or whatever. After you watch that and take notes on that lecture, you'll want to complete review A. It's important for you to understand that this is not a quiz. It's not some high pressure, high stakes thing. You can use your notes, use your definitions. If you took good notes, the review should be pretty easy. Here's what lesson 1A review questions look like. And there's some instructions there at the beginning. You just click start and you just start going through those and answer the question best you can based on what you saw on the lecture. Science is observation of God's creation next. When our senses are limited we use instruments and you just continue and once you've finished all of them then you hit submit all and it'll tell you too if you didn't finish everything if there's any that you didn't complete and says please complete all and continue so you have an answer for everything. So you answer all of them hit submit all again and this time say yes and it'll tell you if you pass or not. It'll have a score there and passing score is 75%. So click that magnifying glass to review what the correct answers were and what you chose for an answer will be highlighted there. What the correct answer is, you see that flashing green arrow next to that. Click that results button to get back to your score and you'll record that score in your grade calculator which we'll talk about using the grade calculator later. And for any problems you weren't sure about how they got that answer then there are video solutions that are available at the end of the corresponding video lecture. So if you studied your definitions good and especially watch that lecture and took some good notes, then the review question shouldn't be that bad for you. But if there are, is something in particular that wasn't in your notes, then you can add that as you go through the video solutions. You can add that to your notes. And that'll make those notes very useful for you when it comes time to do a quarterly review or, or any time you have to go back and, and review something. You have all of your most important information included in that one place in your notes. For day three, you're doing the part B lecture and review questions. And so really the instructions are identical to part A, day two. You'll start by reviewing rules, definitions, and facts, and then watch your part B lecture and take notes, complete your review questions. For day four, the main thing that you do is the video lab, but you want to start it by spending a few minutes taking the optional facts quiz. And we don't want you taking this part too seriously. I mean, you can do it and just give a completion grade on it. It doesn't have to be a perfect hundred in the amount of time. Here's what that facts quiz looks like. And again, some instructions at the beginning looks a lot like the review question format. and starts out like I just did just emphasizing it's not a test you don't have to make this some high stress thing it is time you can see that timer running after I clicked start there and you just go through these and click submit and it'll actually tell you if you got it right and then you just move on and so that one I'll say that's Galena that's incorrect it tells you what the right answer is so when you go take it again you know you can make a note of of what that one is when you finish you just hit submit and it says you must answer a question before continuing so they want you to to do all of them when you're done 
it'll give you a grade just like the review questions do and you can record that grade or you can do it several times till you get a hundred you can give your child a completion grade on this record that in the grade calculator however you want to handle the facts quiz just don't take it too seriously next you'll want to watch your video lab and complete that lab activity in your workbook now you can complete these lab activities just as a video lab so in other words with or without a lab kit and if you want to use a lab kit then use the instructions and materials list found in your assignment chart for day four let's take a look at a video lab and they show up like your video lectures do and same ability to pause and rewind and fast forward through different things. You can tell when you begin if you're on the right page in your workbook if the screen looks the same. It says Laboratory Activity 1.1 Scientific Method. It's the same introduction, same content as in your laboratory workbook. This particular lab talks about the scientific method. Many of our lab activities follow the scientific method, which again is great college prep and just life prep too, so you can see how scientists do things and and some of the limitations of science too even but you can see there's plenty of room in the workbook to record everything you, you don't need a separate piece of paper or anything as you go through the lab if you're doing it hands-on watch the video lab explanation and any instructions that you see then perform that particular activity on your own but watching that video lab first and, and having these high resolution photos sometimes very zoomed in with description that just really improves your chances of doing the lab correctly lab can be challenging you're trying to do this experiment for the first time ever don't expect to get perfect results be patient with it be humble science done properly is very humbling like the lecture, pause and rewind something if you need to. When you're finished, grade and correct it. Any mistakes that you made in calculations or anything, you can correct those using the solutions that appear and award a completion grade for this. And we also recommend a two hour time limit on any lab. So even if you don't get the whole lab completed, if whatever you got done in two hours give a hundred on that if there was a good effort put in if you don't complete every lab that's fine there's more than enough information in your earth science lab activities for you to get a really good lab experience and really get the feel for completing an experiment and answering a question about something in nature and recording data calculating analyzing that data drawing conclusions all of those really good things about the scientific method you'll learn those well now that we've discussed a week of doing dive earth science I want to talk about something called the timed method and for some students the 32 week schedule we have is too long they can get this done in a shorter amount of time but if it's not long enough don't feel like you have to cram everything into 32 weeks instead focus on working on science four to five days per week so for example instead of thinking that you have to get everything that's on day two the lecture and the review questions all of that done at one time focus on working a maximum of one hour per day on your earth science two hours for labs so setting that max of one hour per day that just helps the student know that this is all they have to do science for that day and and no more and one hour is just a recommendation maybe one hour and 15 works for you maybe 45 minutes works for you set up a max time limit in that time frame and stop at the end of that and then just continue on where you left off the next day now every eight weeks you'll have a quarterly review and it's important to understand this is not an exam but you still want to study for it you have the entire week to study and prepare for it and the best ways to study are to retake the review questions and your facts those are the main things that are on the quarterly review especially the review questions just 
open those up and take them again. Do the online fax flashcards or your fax quiz provided with your course. You also want to study your notes, your definitions, and your lab activities. And in particular, just briefly on those lab activities, there will be a few questions from the lab activities. As you go through diverse science, you're building fluency over time. So look at this quarterly review as an opportunity one more time to build fluency on what you learned that quarter and just really get it down well. And most problems, they come directly from the review questions, meaning they're identical. If you saw a question on the review questions, it's not going to be changed on the quarterly review. It'll be the same question and with the same answer. So some of them are from the facts, the weekly facts that you do, and then a few of the questions will be from the lab activities. Now, it's kind of like just a longer version of a set of review questions is really how these are set up and what I want you to treat them like. And since they are like the review questions, it's okay to use your notes and open up your lab activity if you need to, things like that. Have those things available. Here's the section one review and you see the instructions there. You start and you can also see that there's a reference next to each problem. So again, if you're using your notes, you can quickly go back and find an answer if you need to. And just moving through here, you can see it goes 1.1a. It's in order too. It's not like you have 1.7 and then 1.1 or anything like that. When you get to the weekly facts, it tells you which week and those facts. And so again, if you need to go back and look at something, you're able to do that. And at the very end, a few questions on lab activities, typically one per lab activity, lab 1.3 there, lab 1.4 there. And again, that reference is there to help you to, so you can go back and look if you need to. Now, even though it's 100 questions, if you study right for it, most students finish in 30 to 45 minutes. It doesn't take that long. It shouldn't take that long. If it's taking you more than an hour, then you didn't prepare right. And remember, we want you to try to use that time method too and, and limit your time to one hour per day. So that's it for this Getting Started. Thank you for choosing Diverse Science. God bless, and I hope you have a great year.